It's TK Friday. Today I'll be controlling light through mask painting. Hello and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Thank you so much for joining me today. And today it's about controlling light through mask painting. Now I do have a roadmap for us today. And I also want to say thank you everyone for all your comments and questions and encouragement to me. It really means a lot and I really love to hear from you. And by the way, if you don't yet have the TK8 plugin for Photoshop, there's an affiliate link in the description below this video. You can click on that. That'll take you to Tony Kuiper's site where you can purchase the panel and training videos and things like that. And if you use my promo code DK15, you'll save 15% off everything that Tony has to offer on his web store. And now on to the roadmap. The first thing I want to do is lighten up the water here. Now, I want to ex explain something to you about this roadmap. Now, this roadmap to me doesn't come like instantaneously, like all of a sudden I know exactly what to do. So I don't want to give anybody that impression. I basically let the image speak to me. And as I find one problem area like this water down here, I feel needs light. And that's the first area I'm going to take an interest in and repair. And once I do that, then I'll look for something else. And that's how the roadmap builds. So it took me a while to actually come to this uh, final conclusion, but I'm sharing it with you because it's going to give us a roadmap of how we're going to work on this tutorial today. So we're going to lighten the water up first. The next thing that came to my attention were all these light rocks in here. Now, I like these rocks, but they're too light. They're drawing your eye. So I want to darken them down to take the emphasis off of them. Okay, so that's the next step. And then after that, I want to darken the sky. The sky is just a little bit too light, so I want to darken it down just a little bit. And then after that, this rock out here, which to me is the really cool part of this image, this rock out here. So I want to lighten it up as well as its reflection in the water and warm it a bit. And I think that's really going to help. Then after that, I decided, well, these rocks seem a little dark and I want to lighten those up and warm those up just to bring some harmony between this rock and these rocks here. I think it'll be nice. After that, I want to give this a vignette because all these images pretty much need a vignette. It really helps to pull you into the center of the image. And then after that, I want to add a slight bit of a blue cast down into this water. I think it'll be nice and add to the reflective quality of the water. And then the last thing I want to do is this rock out here with this light hitting on it. I mean, it's cool that light's hitting this rock, but it's really distracting. It like really pulls your eye into that really light area because you always tend to go for the light areas. And I really don't think that's a highlight of the image. So I don't want to draw attention to it. So I'm going to use frequency separation to remove the light spot on this rock here, as well as in the reflection in the water. And it's really simple to do. The first thing I'm going to do is lighten up this area down in here. And to do that, I'm going to get a color grading tool. Click the plus here and that adds it as a layer. Click on the mid-tone block and let's just lighten up the entire image. And we're only worried about the area down in here, okay? So don't worry what's happening on the rest of the image. In fact, what I'll do is shut this layer off. And then I'm gonna exile the color grading tool and I'm gonna grab a zone mask by clicking this icon here and selecting one of these darker tones in the water that I wanna lighten up and let's click OK. And that looks like a pretty good mask. I may just tighten it up just a little wee bit, something like that. And now we need to output it. So I'm going to output it to a black layer. I'll be painting through a selection with white paint. So we're going to click right here. Now, I love this technique where we're painting through a selection because we can build up our uh, adjustments very slowly. Now, I'm at 50%. So I'm going to start painting down here on the bottom, lightening up this lighting up this water area down in here a little bit. That's one pass. I'm going to give it another pass right down through here. And that looks pretty good. And I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller and I'm going to lighten this area up back in here a little bit and these rocks up, up here a little bit here as well. And I may even just paint on this rock. I'll be hitting this rock later, but I'm going to hit it right now once as well. Okay, so let's take a look. Here is the before. And here is the after. So we're off to a good start. Okay, now these light rocks in here are really bothering me. So I want to darken those up. Now, right now, I still have a selection active. So let's get rid of that selection by clicking this icon right here. 
that removes the selection. And now let's grab another color grading tool. We need to click the plus to add it. And now let's click that mid-tone block again. And this time I want to darken. So I want to darken those rocks. So I'm going to darken it up a good bit here. And I can always come back and readjust this, okay? Now we're going to shut off this layer because we want to base our mask off of the way the image looks right now. Okay, so let's X out of the color grading tool and we're going to do another zone mask. And we're going to pick some of these light rocks in here. Click OK. And let me tighten up that selection a little bit. Something like that. And lighten it up a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing, and that is output this to a black layer, painting through a selection. I'll be using white paint. And now I'm still at 50%, and I think I'm going to try that because I can build this up slowly. Okay, so I'm just going to start painting on these rocks. And just darken them down, and that'll take the emphasis off of them. And I think the 50% is working out. Okay, so I'll just build that up slowly. Now remember, I am painting through a selection, which gives me a lot of control. Let's get these rocks out in here. Some of these guys in here. But just see how your eyes are not really drawn to these rocks now. They're not like a main point, focal point, I should say, to us. Darken this up a little bit here. And I think we're about there. Might darken this down a little bit more, maybe over in here. A couple more times in here. Let's take a look. Here is the before, and here is the after. But you see how now our eyes are not drawn to those. Now, if I felt these were a little too dark, we can adjust this color grading adjustment. Just click on the color grading icon here and click the... Uh, gray block and you can see there's my adjustment right there so i'm going to take this and start to drag it more to the right and just lighten them up a little bit i think i was a little bit too strong so i think there so here's the before and here's the after again the before and here's the after and i think i like that better next i want to darken down the sky a little bit so i'm going to get another color grading tool but we need to deselect our selection first by clicking this icon right here and now let's grab another color grading tool. And again, I'm going to go with the mid-tone block here and darken that sky by just dragging the slider to the left. A decent amount here. And I think somewhere right around there. And now I'm going to shut this layer off again because I want to base my mask on the way the image looks right now. So let's X out of the color grading tool. This time we're going to go with the luminosity mask. And I think it's going to either be a lights one or a lights two. There's a lights one, here's a lights two. Yeah, it's going to be a lights two. I'm going to leave it just like this. And again, I'm going to output it to a black layer mask, painting through a selection with white paint. And I'm still at 50%, and I'm going to get a nice big brush here and just start to darken this area all up through here. And again, I'm painting through that selection, so it's going to be a very accurate adjustment here. And it'll just build up. See, this area is already dark over here, so I won't hit it as much. And I'm just going to paint through here a few times. And let's take a look. Here is the before, and here's the after. Again, the before and the after. And to me, that's just the way I want it to look. I'm going to go ahead and deselect my selection. The next thing I want to do is lighten up this rock here. To do that, I'm going to get an object selection tool and make sure it's in the lasso mode. And then what I'll do is just draw loosely around this rock like this. And see if it gets a nice selection there. Yeah, and it selects it nicely. It missed an area. Right, it went too far here, so I'm going to hold the uh, option key down and just subtract this off right out here. And here, it's being a little stubborn right there, but that's fine. That's going to be okay. So right there is good. Actually, I need to add this little piece right here. 
I think that's part of it. Yeah, that's part of it right there. So I needed to add that. So now what I want to do is I want to come up and go to my channels and click on the active selection. And then I want to use a mass calculation, okay? And let's just click on the calculator, hit the intersect button, X for intersect, X out of here. And then I want to use a luminosity mask. And I believe it's going to be a darks one luminosity mask. Yeah, it's a darks one luminosity mask and click equals. And now it's made that selection, okay? So I wanna output it to a color grading tool. This time I'm not gonna be uh, painting through a selection, but we're just gonna go right to a color grading tool. I'm gonna click on the midtone block and just lighten up that rock. Decent amount, maybe somewhere right around there. And I wanna warm it up a little bit, give it a nice inviting warm glow, something like that. Here's the before and here's the after. Isn't that nice? And now let's work on the reflection. So with that object selection tool, make a selection around the reflected area in the water. Like that. And it missed that little piece there. So I'll hold the shift key down. And we'll draw that in. Okay, so I think we got it. Missed the little section right here as well. Not that it would really matter that much. I think we're good. And now let's go, uh, let's X out of the color grading tool here. Let's go uh, to my channels again, click on the active selection, mass calculator, X for intersect, X out of here. And now let us get another, let's do a darks one again and click equals. And there's that selection. And now we're going to output it to a color grading tool and grab that midtone block. And let's just lighten it up a little bit in the water there. Maybe something like that. And let's slightly warm it as well. Because we want to match what the rock is doing outside of the reflection. Okay. So here's the before and here's the after. So the before and the after. And if I'm too strong there, I can just pull back on this a little bit. Let's try that. There's the before and there's the after. So I think that's pretty good. What I'm going to do next is take these rocks here and lighten them up a little bit and warm them just to bring harmony with this big rock here. And now we're moving back into mask painting. So let me go ahead and grab another color grading tool. Click the plus. That'll add another color grading tool. Click on the midtone block. I want to lighten those rocks maybe something like that and warm them up slightly, something like that. I'm just gonna go a little lighter cause I can always come back and readjust this, okay? Then I'm gonna shut this layer off and base my mask on the way the image looks right now. Now let's create a mask. Let's X out of the color grading tool. I'm gonna get another zone mask and click on this rock right here, click okay. And I might just tighten that up a little bit like that, maybe lighten it a little, something like that. And I'll put it to a black layer mask, painting through a selection with a white brush. And I'm at 50% and I'm going to make my brush a little smaller and just paint this adjustment in here on these rocks. Okay, and just lighten them up a little wee bit. Might even get this rock here. Then there's a couple rocks out in here. I'm gonna grab these, make sure I get this good. Painting through that selection. And I think that's good. Let's take a look. Here is the before and here's the after. But see how that just adds a nice harmony? I think that's gonna be good. We're getting close to being done. The next thing I wanna do is add a nice little blue cast to this water down in here. And to do that, what I'm gonna do first is Let's get rid of this selection and I'm going to get a color grading tool again and click the plus. And what I want to do this time is click on the black square for shadows. And all I want to do here is drag this block into some blues. You see how it's just giving us a nice little blue tint into the water here. Here's the before and here's the after. Now, of course, I don't want it everywhere, so I'm going to shut this eye off and base my mask on the way the image looks right now. Let's X out of the color grading tool. And this time, I'm going to use a luminosity mask. And I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a darks 2 or a darks 3. Let's try a darks 3. 
Yeah, I think a Darks 3 is going to target just the shadow areas. I just want to add that blue cast to the shadow areas in the water, okay? Uh, let's output it to a black layer, painting through a selection with a white brush. And again, I have that 50%. And all I want to do is paint that in right down through here. And it's only going to hit those really shadow areas. Maybe I'll hit it one more time down in here. Let's take a look. Here's the before and here's the after. So it adds a nice little reflective quality down at the water level. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add my vignette. So let's come to the TK Actions and let's just click on the regular vignette. Gaussian Blur dialog box comes up. Click OK. And we can see here's the before the vignette and here is the after the vignette. Now I'm going to do something here because it's making my corners here a little bit on the dark side. So let me show you how I take care of that. On this vignette layer, I'm going to come up and grab a luminosity mask. It's going to be a darks three because I want to protect the dark areas in the corners. What I'm going to do is I'll put it to a selection. Now I'm going to be painting on this mask. So what I need to do is select black paint. All right and make sure I'm on the actual mask itself, okay? And now I have to select black paint. And let's see here, I'm gonna make my brush pretty large here, and I'm at that same, I'm gonna to go to like 30% uh, opacity here, and what I'm gonna do is just paint here. And it'll just lighten up the edges of the mask here. Now again, I'm at like 30%, okay? Just like that, now here is the before, and here is the after. And if we take a look at what that mask looks like, click this icon right here. You can see where I'm protecting those edges, okay? So again, here is the before and here is the after. So it's not quite as dark as it was down there. The final thing I wanna do is get rid of this light spot in the rock. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here so we can really see what we're doing here. And we're gonna use frequency separation. So let's come to the TK actions. Let's open up frequency separation by clicking right here. A Gaussian blur dialog box comes up. I'm gonna take the default setting of 10, click OK. And now I have a texture layer and a color blur layer. I'm gonna click on the color blur layer. And for my technique, I like to click on the plus icon here to add a blank pixel layer above the color blur layer because I don't really like to paint on the color blur layer itself. I'm going to get a brush. I'm going to click this icon right here. This lets me get a color picker up. And I'm going to pick the color of this rock right here. Okay, and click OK. And I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. Now I'm still painting with, well, I'm painting with 30%. So I'm going to build this up slowly. So I'm just going to be painting on here. All right. And just getting rid of this light area in here okay and i'm just painting away i'm lifting my brush because remember i'm only painting with 30 percent paint and that's looking pretty good right there just going to come up along the edge here a little bit okay and now i'm going to sample this color down in here and just paint this off here as well and i think that's going to be good right there let me go ahead and zoom back out let's take a look here is the before and here is the after. But see now our eye's not going to that light spot. Again, when you see that light area there, your eye goes right to it. Now we're not being drawn to it. And now I think we're finished. Let's take a look at the overall before and after. I'm gonna click my before and after button that I created. Here's the before. And here is the after. So I think we made a lot of nice changes to this image and I hope you give this a try. Well, there it is, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.